Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today we'll be discussing how to gain right access to an item revision that is released in Team Center. So here we have an item revision that has been released with a 60 status. And you'll see that when we try to make modifications to the item revision, we get this read only watermark in the background, indicating that we don't have right access. The first thing we could do to gain right access to our item revision is to revise it. So with our item revision selected, we scroll down our summary perspective on the right hand side and select revise, then finish. Now we have a new revision without the release status and this gives us right access. We can see that there's no longer a read-only watermark when we try to edit the properties. So what we'll do here is make a minor change to the description. And we can see that the changes are saved. We want to use this first method because chances are we want to keep the release status on the previous item. These next two methods are to be used when the item revision is accidentally released. Again, we have an item revision that is released with a 60 status and we don't have right access to it. In this second method, we will use the release man utility. First, with our home folder selected, we create a new folder. We name our folder, making sure to remember the name. Now we copy and paste the item revision that we wish to remove the status from to the folder. In our start menu, we expand the Team Center folder to reveal the Team Center command prompt and right click and select Run as Administrator. We enter the following commands to get to the TC root bin folder. Now we input the command displayed on the screen for the release man utility. UNP will be the user ID and password of your respective user. Status will be the status you wish to remove and folder will be the name of the folder that we threw our item revision in earlier. With the utility run successfully, we come back to the rich client and we refresh the window. We can see that the status has been removed, which would give us right access to the item revision. The final method we will be using involves creating an unreleased workflow. We want to make sure that we are in the DBA role in the DBA group. Next, we navigate to the workflow designer by selecting Window, Open Perspective, Other, and Workflow Designer. In Workflow Designer, we create a template by selecting File and New Root Template. And we'll just call this template Quick Unrelease and select the Quick Release workflow as our based on root template.
To finish this template, we need to click and drag from the Start to Add Status task to connect them. And with the Add Status task selected, we open the Handlers dialog. We can see that the status is set to 60, but we can change this to whatever status we want. We want to select the EPM set status handler and set the value for the action to delete and click modify. Now the workflow is ready to be used, so we click the checkbox next to set stage to available. Back in the My Team Center perspective, we select the item revision we wish to gain right access to, and we select Workflow Process. In the New Process dialog, we look for our Quick Unrelease Workflow and click OK. We can see that the release status has been removed from our item revision, and we now have right access to it.